This is Witchbase News for Friday the 6th of May 2022 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...Professor Palin hosts a new community goal with unique rewards up for grabs ...there's a dire warning about salvation and his true intentions ...there's a brand new exploration POI catalogue launching and you can get involved ...and more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. We start this week with the latest news on the Thargoid presence in the bubble. Whilst there are no new incursions this week there are 5 systems in the bubble that remain doggedly infested. The stations that were knocked offline by Thargoid attack in DDO and Sosong are now extinguished but with the Thargs Day tick this week Isherwood station in Novas was attacked and is now being evacuated whilst the station continues to burn. As always you'll find permalinks in the video description to the discord for the post disaster evacuation service should you wish to participate in that effort alongside other commanders dedicated to the role. Operation Ida are holding back on repairs to the formerly damaged stations as those systems are still in incursion and there's therefore a chance the stations could reignite in the future losing any progress made. My thanks to Commander AI Grog for the heads up there. On the subject of incursions being cleared Galnet is reporting that Salvation's daisy cutting super weapons are due to be operational later this week ...a move which will almost certainly utterly enrage the carnage cabbages spreading yet more mayhem and death. A new community goal went active this week that is offering unique modules as part of its reward package. The goal, initiated by the galaxy's foremost expert in all things Thargoid Professor Ishmael Palin is asking for huge quantities of the mysterious Thargoid barnacle byproduct Meta Alloy which you can find growing on the spiky outgrowths around the surface based alien service stations. In return for your efforts should you be in the top 75, 50 or 10% of contributors you will find yourself rewarded with a 4A, 5A or even 6A respectively corrosion resistant cargo rack which will apparently prove useful in the upcoming phase of what appears to be an ongoing series of community goals from Palin's ongoing research into the murderous goopy gardenias. Of particular note the 5A and 6A variants of the corrosive resistant cargo racks are not ordinarily commercially available and have been manufactured especially for this event. And whilst we're talking Thargoids, Salvation and the forthcoming apocalypse we missed this last week but fortunately the eagle eyes of commanders Beetlejude and Wotherspoon of Galnet News Digest didn't. There are fully voiced acted interviews with the commanding officers of three capital class vessels that are stationed in the three most recently invaded systems in the bubble that are automatically uploaded to your ship if you enter their local space. The fact that they are automatically uploaded, you don't need to go to the effort of finding them and downloading them yourself and the fact that they are fully voice acted would seem to imply that these interviews are important and far more significant than simple background fluff and colour for us to absorb. The interviews are conducted by a reporter from the Vox Galactica news service and discuss essentially the fall of Aegis and the rapid ascension of the mysterious individual or entity known as Salvation. They draw an interesting line through what has been happening over the last year or so in game and there is at least one plot point made in the interviews that is honestly quite chilling. Galnet News Digest on YouTube has the three interviews archived if you want to hear them and they also have a rather foreboding analysis of what the interviews inclusion in the game could be pointing to. Given what we learnt this week from Frontier about the forthcoming end of the Azimuth saga in game I'd urge you to go and listen to it. If you go looking in game you'll need the INV succession in the Novas system, the FNS Amphion in the Sosong system and the megaship Salote Charm 
in the DDO system. You'll find the Galnet News archive of the interviews linked in the description below together with their analysis of the contents therein. Commander Orange Phoenix sent word this week that the weekend of the 13th to the 15th of May this year will host the Radio 07 Operation Warbucks Save the Children charity fundraising event on Twitch. The event will feature 16 streamers across the entire weekend all raising money for the Save the Children efforts in Ukraine. As an extra bonus any donators to the fund will receive access to download an Elite Dangerous music video created by Commander Tokoso. To watch the streams, donate and get involved see the links in the video description. Just one quick reminder as expected tickets for this years LaveCon Elite Dangerous convention went on sale this week. The convention is running across the 15th to the 17th of July in Milton Keynes in the UK. The event features not only Elite Dangerous but all manner of board games, LAN games, panels, talks and more. As usual you'll find everything you need in the video description below. The community driven galactic mapping project that was used by the community to document points of interest across the galaxy since its inception in 2015 was, this month, put into maintenance mode by the projects admin team. If you've never heard of the galactic mapping project it is a huge archive of commander discovered points of interest predominantly from the vanilla and horizons eras of the game and is the reason that so many highlights and regions in the current game have names attached to them spawning as it did monikers like Colonia, Beagle Point and Hawking's Gap. Upon announcement of the projects mothballing however one of its curators Commander Orvidius who incidentally is also the brain behind the fantastic explorers toolset at ED Astrometrics stepped into the void left by the galactic mapping projects departure with a new website that continues the work albeit in a slightly different form. The galactic exploration catalogue has now launched in a beta form and is viewable online. The site will allow commanders to submit their own POIs and score other commanders submissions all overseen by a team of curators. The list of POIs is searchable by name, location and minimum rating scores and the website also features a set of API tools to allow its data to be integrated into other third party tools and websites. Whilst the loss of the GMP is undoubtedly keenly felt, nature abhors a vacuum and it's fantastic to see this new initiative stepping into the void so quickly. I've linked to the Galactic Exploration catalogue below. You'll also find a link there to the project's official Discord server and if you've never checked out the ED Astrometric suite of tools then that's also linked below. It's a fantastic exploration utility featuring interactive maps, graphs, sample ship builds, a guide to getting started with exploration, a ship name generator and more. Will you be submitting your exploration finds to the new Galactic Exploration Catalogue? Do you think Salvation's intentions are noble and he's merely misunderstood? Will we be seeing you at LaveCon this year? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.